That's my marker. <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. That's my marker. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm feeling like complete shit right now because I've been dealing with some crazy insomnia lately and if you can't tell, I lost my voice yesterday, so I'm gonna be struggling to talk throughout this whole video. I know you guys have seen the title and yes, Drake and his crew done jammed my Sharpie and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So let me just set up my backdrop quickly and we'll get right into the deets. Five minutes later. I'd like to apologize if this video gets a bit dark. As you can see, there's like a nasty ass storm on the way. If anybody wants to buy me a ring light, go right ahead. Today is actually the day after game five, which was when Drake made his surprise-ish appearance at Jurassic Park. Hey. And if you're wondering why I'm shooting this as a story time slash vlog and not as an official vlog, is because one, I honestly wasn't planning on shooting a vlog that day because I've already made a Raptors vs. Bucks vlog. As you can see, it's called Get Ready With Me. It's my first ever Get Ready With Me, so make sure you guys go and check it out after this video, because I know you guys want to stick around for the tea. And two, like I said, his appearance was a surprise-ish. If I shot the vlog and like, Today and I was like, hey, today Drake is gonna be showing up at Jurassic Park, try to play it off like that. Everybody would know I'd be bullshitting it because literally nobody knew he was showing up to Jurassic Park until maybe about an hour before the game when he posted this picture on his Instagram story. When I seen Drake's Instagram, I was like, I have to vlog this. Like, this this is absolutely a must. Second time I've ever been this close to Drake. The first time was when he showed up to Jurassic Park. I think this was in 2016. I felt as though that if I shot this vlog, it, the majority of the videos would be him and his and the crew just freaking out at the little ass TV. <laughs> I felt like that wouldn't really be interesting, but I kept shooting because you never know, like just in case something happened, like if I got an autograph or he waved to me, which he didn't, or something, and sure enough, I think Drake just took my marker. Woo! I felt like that was kind of funny and interesting. So I've been putting it out on Instagram, trying to like, get his attention because sometimes Baka and Preem they read my DMs and like they watch my stories from the DMs when I send it to them. I kind of put out a story kind of saying that I want my Sharpie back and I've had people tell me why don't you just go buy a new one and some people are calling me a loser and telling me oh you're never gonna get it back and you can go suck your dad because that Sharpie has some value to me okay. It's my lucky Sharpie because I've had so many famous people touch it before Drake and the crew touched it. Like I've had people like DeMar DeRozan, Pascal Siakam etc. I'm not gonna give you guys the full list because there's a lot of people who have come into contact with that sharpie before drake and the crew did so that's why it has some value to me and don't get salty i just want you guys to know that even though i didn't include this in the get ready with me video while i'm packing my bag and i'm still not 100 percent sure why i didn't because i always make sure these are packed everywhere i go i always carry three sharpies with me one of them is a black sharpie and that's for if someone wants to autograph a white thing, like, like a white t-shirt or a white jersey. I bring a silver Sharpie just in case someone wants to autograph a dark colored t-shirt or like a black jersey. And I bring a gold one just for the hell of it, just in case it's like OVO something or like Drake shows up somewhere. And people always ask me, Chantal, why do you bring markers with you everywhere? This is why. You never know who you're gonna bump into. You never know who's gonna show up at an event. And if you're ever at an event where like there's a celebrity and you there's an opportunity to get autographs, 99.9% .9 of the time, nobody has a marker. If I ever want an autograph, I'm prepared. Okay, so when I saw the Instagram story, right, I was already at the very front, so you already know, like, I had a really good spot. I had the best view of Drake and his crew. The stage was, like, blocking the screen, so we were limited to this small-ass TV on the stage. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
but it's all good, you know, because I got to see Drake and his crew up in person, and that was a really great experience for the fans and I. You know, the only people I recognize on that stage were Drake, obviously, Preem, who I've known since P. Rain when he dropped Call My Name, Baka Not Nice, and Chubbs, who's actually Drake's bodyguard. I know it's not a lot of people I recognize on that stage, because there was a lot, but I recognize a lot more people than a lot of the people in the crowd did, because there was bare people asking, Who's the guy in the Gucci headband? Preem. Who's the guy signing my shirt? Baka. Who's the chubby guy? Chubbs. What happened was someone like gave their shirt to Baka for him to sign and he was looking around for a marker and like I said, remember when I said 99.9% .9 of the time no one has a marker? Hey yo, I got markers in case anyone wants an autograph! Nobody in the crowd or on the stage had a marker. So you know me, I went into my fanny and I took out a black marker and I was like, I was like, Baka, 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 Baka. And he took the marker and was signing stuff with it, right? Everyone seen Baka signing stuff, everyone kind of followed suit. I kind of like gave them the marker which gave everyone the opportunity to get their stuff signed so that is how they got my marker but listen on a side note let me tell you something about baka so he goes by baka not nice but he's actually a really nice guy he spent a good chunk of the game signing autographs which was really kind he also signed my shirt right here if you guys haven't seen it this is his autograph which was really kind of him i really appreciate it thank you i'm just wearing it for the video just to sh show you guys that it happened <laughs> and at one point i felt a bit dehydrated to the point where it felt like someone punched me in the stomach like i just got this really nasty stomach cramp so i kind of like I, fl I waved him down and got his attention because he remembers me from the markers and and i i said do you have any water and i did this to kind of like this is like the gesture for a drink right and he's like you want water and i'm like yes please and so he went to the back <laughs> it wasn't like a like a cheap $2 Nestle bottle of water. It was actually this. This is smart water. And when food vendors sell this water, they sell it for like $5, which is like really expensive. This is the bougie water. And that was really nice of him. Thanks for the bougie water. I really appreciate it. I shared it with Ron, so it's community water now. Sorry if I got a little bit off topic there. So Baka was going to sign a black t-shirt with the black Sharpie. So I reached in my fanny and I got the silver Sharpie and I was waving it. I'm like, I'm like, Baka, Baka, I have a silver, I have a silver. So he took the silver. I was like, just take the gold Sharpie because it's OVO, right? And they were just signing a lot of stuff for the fans. And then eventually Drake started signing the stuff with my markers. It really got the crowd amped and it was really cool seeing him sign stuff with my markers, which gives me more reason to bring them everywhere I go. Oh, and by the way, not to brag or nothing, but at one point... Oh, he just bit my marker! He just bit my marker! Oh, but don't worry. I still have it, and I'm not selling it or giving it away or anything, so, like, don't get your hopes up. Uh, I'm trying to find the bite. There. The bite mark is right... I don't know if you guys can see that. So during the game, a lot of people were trying to get Drake's attention, and there was this one person that kept calling him every 10 seconds, and it was getting on my nerves. And it got to the point where Chubbs was even looking at the guy like, yo, like, shut the f*** up, bro. I know from experience, back when I was a waste you, the more you call out to a celebrity, the more they won't look at you. So after the game wrapped up, which we beat Milwaukee 105 to 99 to take a 3-2 series lead in the Eastern Conference Finals. <laughs> We're just one win away from the NBA Finals. We just gotta get it done. We just gotta get it done. You don't understand how much the NBA playoffs stress me out. I've been breaking out in pimples. I even have a couple gray hairs up there. So after the game wrapped up, Drake gave us a little one-two speech. No matter what they say, no matter what the commentary is or the dialogue is, you know what they're scared of? They're scared because we're the most passionate, proud city. All these things that happen inside while you guys are standing out here, nothing can happen without all this energy. We play in an American league, and I promise you, a Canadian team is going to the NBA Finals. <laughs> and then they cut. So I called security over, and I said, "Where's my markers? Where's my markers? They really dropped my markers." Okay, I got two of them back. I'm missing the black one. And I thought to myself, I'm like, I'm like, damn, 
Drake and his crew really jabbed my black sharpie. But you know, Drake, Baka, Preem, Chubbs, if you're watching this and you want to give me back my sharpie, my season seats are up in section 310. Head up there, give it to me or my mom or my dad if they're there. Or like if you guys ever want to come say hi, like you can come say hi. You know, I'm always open to like one of you guys buying it back or paying my college tuition seeing as though I got straight A's again. You know, I'm, I'm joking, but I'm not joking. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh. What's funny is that people actually think I'm being serious about being mad at them for jamming my sharpie as well as wanting it back That's my lucky marker and the man jammed it. Oh is Jake in there? I know he has my marker. Jake, I know you have my marker I like it back But really it's it's all love for real like I'm not thrilled that I have to buy another one But I'm not mad. You know, I was actually cracking jokes about it I was like these guys are millionaires and they done jammed my sharpie Like I'm gonna have to send out an amber alert and then people are gonna get mad at the amber alert And then they're gonna call the police and complain about the amber alert because they don't give a flying f about anybody else's kid But uh oh god forbid if it was one of their kid They want the whole world up and looking for their kid because they're a bunch of f***ing hypocrites, right? But after the game a girl approached me and she was like I want to say thank you for your money Oh, you're welcome. Where is it? You got it. Oh, beautiful. Someone was happy because my markers made them happy. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but my markers made someone happy. I'm sure Drake is probably like that girl's favorite artist and to have something autographed by your favorite celebrity means the absolute world. I mean, I didn't get anything signed by Drake even though they were my markers, but it's all good, man. It's so good, baby, it's so good. But listen, this is kind of a conspiracy-ish thing I'm gonna say, but seeing as though Drake has a curse that goes around teams, especially the Toronto Raptors, and seeing as though I'm considered one of the most luckiest people because of all the sh** I've won this season, I feel as though as long as the Sharpie's in Drake's possession, good things will happen. I feel like the curse is kind of blocked, but honestly, I feel like after he noticed he still had it, he probably dashed it out the Rolls Royce window. If you see a Sharpie on the ground by the Scotiabank Arena, sell that motherfucker to any rapper that I know, cause they need it much more than I ever will. Well, I hope you enjoyed my vlog slash story time on how Drake and his crew jammed my Sharpie. And like I said, it's all love. And I'm gonna say it again because I know there's gonna be a few waste mans that are gonna try and hate and say it's just a f***ing Sharpie. I'm not mad. I opened up a huge opportunity for fans in the audience to get their stuff signed by the OVO crew and Drake. I know it sounds childish, but my markers really made some people happy and I'm really happy about that. Just some stupid shit. Just bring a marker everywhere with you, you know? But hey, the fact that, you know, Drake and the crew took the time out of the busy schedules to come spend an evening with the fans at Jurassic Park, it really means a lot to us. You know, considering that he missed a lot of games during the regular season and fans were upset about that. And like I've said many times before, the man is touring, he's on tour, the man's literally at work, so he can't come. But like what I say goes in one year and comes out the other. So I guess Drake being at the park really kind of made up for it all. And I guess the fans forgive him. So if you haven't already done this, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my crazy adventures. If and when we do make the NBA finals, my Dukes have already said that they're going to game one and then we're selling game two. So if I don't win any tickets, I mean, I'm fine. I, I like hanging out in the park with the most passionate and best fans in the NBA because it's really like lit outside and honestly I really look forward to vlogging this until next time Toronto I am out